Make every hour golden hour with this tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to transform an ordinary shot to a golden sunset using After Effects. Let's dive into it. All right, first we have our video clip here of a guy sitting outside. The lighting is very dull and overcast. I'm gonna bring this into a new composition. Now I'll duplicate this layer, make my top layer the blending mode overlay. Now I'll apply a Gaussian blur to my top layer as well. I'll change the blurriness to 20. Now I'll apply a luma key. I'm gonna keep it as key out darker. And I'm gonna change my parameters a bit just so I can leave the brighter parts of my image. So you can see the before and after here, it's much more dreamy looking. So I could tone it down a little bit by changing my opacity to 50%. Now to change my colors. So I'll add a gradient ramp effect, change my start color to an orange yellowish sunset color. And my end color, I'm gonna lean more towards a whitish orange. Duplicate my top layer again, and I'll change this blending mode to screen. I'll change my luma key threshold to 150 on this one. Now I'll add an adjustment layer and a lens flare effect. Now to sell this effect, I'm gonna change my flare center and I'm gonna animate it to the position so it's right on the corner of this building. I could tone it down a bit by adjusting the blend with original parameter. Now here's our result, it's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you an alternate method using the Boris Continuum Lens Flare plugin. It offers much more parameters and control, so check out the link in the description for more info on this. All right, so now I'll drag this effect and I'll adjust the color to the same orange yellow. Now I'll move my position to the same spot as before. I could adjust my pivot a little bit. I could make it softer. I could scale it up. And I could even add noise to make it more natural and less computer generated as you could see. And there's a lot more you could do with this plugin, but for now, let's keep it like that. So now I'll show you how to motion track this effect if you prefer not to manually animate the position. So next I'll add a null object layer. I'll double click on any one of my clip layers and I'll go to track motion. Then I'll select my track point to the corner of the building. Now in the tracker panel, I'll make the track type transform and I'll analyze track forward. Okay, so it's looking good, not perfect, but it's good enough for what we need it for. So now I'll hit edit target and I'll select my null object layer, tracker that I named it. So that's it. With a little know-how and some pretty cool plugins, you could amp up the production value on any shot with a little creativity. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.